Trying to get people to read for pleasure and, and get into what's called the reading habit is not a five minute project. So you really have to sort of um, put down your investment and then wait and hope and, and watch the results over years. And uh, obviously a lot of young people out there, um, we would like to read more um, and hopefully uh, as the years go by we will see the steady increase in the consumption of books for leisure. It's a strange thing, this, this authorship business, because, when, I mean, I read the papers and, you know, the gossip columns and the social columns and this model and that actor and this actress and so on. What do they all want to do? Write. <laughs> I've, never, I've never seen so many people who are successful in another profession saying, and I'm doing a novel, you know. <laughs> I don't know whether it's going to be any good, it doesn't matter. But nevertheless, yes, it's, it's, uh, there's a lot of people out there who believe they have a novel in them and... Let's face it, you know, somewhere out there, there's next year's J.K. Rowling or uh, next year's Tom Clancy or something. Uh, so um, if you have a, a thousand people trying, then the chances are you'll, you'll get one or two um, mega hits out of those. So the more people who try, the better. It, it is a slogging sort of business, um, and it's very rare for success to be quick. Um, and the idea that the money is coming in tomorrow isn't, you know, even if you're accepted for publication, it can be three to four years before you really see a, a check. I think it makes you go, wow. So um, it's slow, don't be put off, don't be uh, discouraged. And even with a couple of rejections, because the Day of the Jackal, which was a pretty successful book, eventually got four rejections. And if I was, I was really nearly tempted to to put it in a drawer. And I went to the fifth publisher and everything changed. So um, I think I think J.K. Rowling went to about 10. And they all said, nobody wants to interest, you know, read about a little boy with a wand. Um, oh, don't they? <laughs> they jolly well do. <laughs> so um, you, know, you just have to hope, say, I think I've got uh, you know, the magic touch and I'm gonna have faith in myself and not take all the put downs and just keep going and to hopefully um, I'll, I'll hit like throwing a dart at a dartboard enough darts you'll, you'll probably get the bullseye. It is important there's no question about it because um, you know there, there are what you might call the literary prizes. Um, I like to think that this is a book prize not necessarily the same thing because the literaries are, are very highbrow and um, you know what you might call the great and the good but most people out there do actually reading for pleasure and not reading highbrow literature. And this book prize particularly um, says well done to people who are popular. Now popular in snobbish terms is a terribly bad thing to be. But why not? Shakespeare was popular, Dickens was popular, and Conan Doyle was popular. So this, this, this particular prize rewards people who are popular, not necessarily intellectual. I approve of that because I'm not intellectual. It brings um, to, to public attention, or people's attention, um, books that maybe you know, don't have a massive uh, financial push behind them um, and are published by the smaller publishers. But then smaller publishers grow into bigger publishers. There was once a very small publisher who was approached by a lady called J.K. Rowling. It is now a very big publisher, <laughs> as you may imagine why. <laughs>